okay? <laughs> oh, well, well done. done. Okay, we've got all of them. I'll get a clean towel. Yeah. Would you like a clean towel? There he is. Congratulations, you two. <laughs> Thank you. Hey Jude, as I compose this, I'm staring at your perfect little face with all the love I didn't know I had in me. Feeling so many emotions, but mostly excited that we're ready to finally introduce you to the world. Well, if I'm going to be honest, I was quite nervous about this day because I know how harsh the world can be. If your dad and I could have you all to ourselves forever in our own quiet little world, we would. But that would be selfish. You're too precious to not be shared. The world deserves to see the precious smiles you give us, the ones that melt our hearts. The world deserves to see you grow into your own unique self. I can't believe you're mine. It's funny because I've heard these words from every mother in the world and thought to myself, how cliche does that sound? But now I completely understand. It truly is the best feeling something you won't be able to fathom until you go through it yourself. <laughs> Wait, I'm getting too excited. Let's go back to the beginning. Jude, you probably won't watch and understand this until you're a lot older. But when you do, I hope you see how much your papa and I love you. And how crazy we are. This is what we had to go through. Well, a very small part of it. We weren't able to vlog everything. <laughs> I can't believe it. Video <laughs> that? Today is a very special, special day. Um, about to disclose some information with you. My girlfriend Janella is 20 weeks pregnant. We are expecting. And today is the day that we find out the gender of our baby. So this is a huge milestone for us. I'm so excited. I know she's so excited. She's just putting on makeup right now. But we will take you along with us through this journey. Because you deserve it. Just kidding. Because we want to. With that fun. <laughs> so anyway guys, enjoy it. And I will see you the next part of the vlog where I'm speaking. <laughs> My security blanket, always. He just comes second. This is my true Keep love. Left. And then. In 200 meters. We're just here now about the ballet park and find out if our baby is a human or a goat. Woo! Oh okay, next picture. Still picture, same, same pose. Stop huh? posing. Are you an artist, huh? The two feet, can you see the two feet on the lower left box? I have two hands, the left and the right. Oh, there. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> 
having a boy, baby. And I'm another Marco. <laughs> and we win this round. <laughs> Actually, I'm happy. Project Mbappe is oh. in course. Don't do that, my arms are <laughs> That's a baby girl. No. That's a baby girl. Oh my god. <laughs> Pull me up, I can't get up. <laughs> Fifth week, so it's my seventh month, and um, I'm wearing this because I'm about to do my yoga, which I do every other day, and yeah, more than halfway. Papa's jeans are so much more strong. Strong. See? There. Oh my god. Hey, Jude. Today is September 19. I'm currently 36 weeks pregnant, as you can see. So, just a few more weeks or days, I don't know, weeks hopefully, <laughs> to go, and we'll be meeting our little burrito. No, the next one is free, it's less than the end. Luckily, I didn't catch that. Careful, that's slippery, yeah? It's like midsummer. <gasps> Blueberries. Hey, you want to get some? Are they actually blueberries? Yeah, they are. This is currently my 37th week, and I think the dad is ready. Somebody order a daddy. <laughs> vroom vroom. So basically it's, uh, what time is it? It's midnight mm -hmm. and uh, we just got to the hospital again. Second time today. So hopefully this is it. Hopefully I get to meet my little boy. Hopefully Zinala is out of all this pain and suffering. <laughs> How you feeling, honey? My legs are, uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Her legs are, uh, that's it. Anyways. We'll keep you updated. So there's someone literally giving birth right now. <sighs> well, her contractions stopped. She seems pretty fine. They gave her some pain medication and then they're... No, I just... I just got a contraction. I just played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I a contraction. Okay. 
Give them some context. Hmm? Context on the lady giving birth next door. Yeah, so there's a girl giving birth next door and I can hear the pain. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I don't know if I'm... No, I'm ready, I'm ready. Let's be honest, guys, she's not ready. No one's ready for that. No one's ready for that. I'm, I'm dreading the day I give birth. What's happening? Oh, uh, Just breathe, honey. Deep breaths. Don't hold your breath. Yay! Someone's ready for an epidural. She survived. So basically, this whole time, oh, I'm zoomed in. Whoops. So basically, this whole time, she's been in what's it called the latent phase of labor. They're basically waiting for her to dilate from nothing to four centimeters. Then they can put the epidural in so she can be relieved of all this horrible pressure pain. And she just did it, uh, the checkup, and we found out that she qualifies. Finally. Finally. I've been shaking all morning. She's been vibrating. The whole hospital's been wondering if there's been an earthquake. It's just been, she's been gone through a lot this morning. So yeah, Jude, you're probably going to watch this when you're maybe 12. So, at least now you know, you're always going to have to be grateful to your mother because she's literally gone through so much. Hey Jude. 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 <laughs> Joke live, not gonna sing. Hey Jude. Hi baby Jude. Hey Jude. Jude. Hey Jude. Don't make it bad. Take a sad song and make it bitter. You surely made the daily COVID restricted lives of the people around you a lot better by your mere presence. And now it's time to share that joy with the rest of the world. Russell and I are very lucky to be one of the first to hold you, to hug you, and to witness your transformation from being a fetus to the adorable, interactive infant that you now are. You even came to me in a dream, even before you were born, but I didn't see your face. Russell, what do you do for Jude? Bring up his bottles, bring down the dirty bottles, bring up the clean bottles, bring up his milk. <laughs> Puro bring up and down, <laughs> kasi mga tamad umakyat bumaba. And throw his diaper. Clean his butt. 
No. Not no bad. No. Through yes. his diaper. And you watch him, right? And when he's uh, sleeping. And you share your toys with him, right? Yes. <laughs> I know you came to us as a surprise, but you are one pleasant surprise that we all don't mind having. We love you very much, and I know that the whole world will love you just as much. Right, Russell? We, we love, love you, June, June, from Lala and... Kuya Russell. Uy, Kuya Russell? <laughs> no. Uncle Russell! No. Yes! No. You're his uncle now! No. In the no. Love you, June! Love you, June! <laughs> Someone wants to meet you. Oh my god! Wait, 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 wait. If you're ready, look back. <laughs> Judy! Oh, he's a bear! Lola! Lala. Lala. Said Lala. Hey Jude, it's me, Toto. Welcome to the world, little one. Everybody's waiting to see you. I can't wait to see you. So when things normalize, tell your mom and dad to bring you home right away, okay? So I can hold you, so I can love you and, and smother you with kisses. We all can't wait to see you. Even your Tata Cheryl uh, can't wait to see you. So this is your Toto saying, see you soon. I love you, baby. Jude, finally, I cannot wait to see you, hug you, kiss you, squeeze you, and bite your and begin now your chubby chubby cheeks. Please don't grow up too fast. And I know that you mean the world to your mom and dad, and that they love you so so much. Your Tita Ninang Erich will always be here for you, praying for you, and may God bless and protect you always. And I really, like seriously, huh? I cannot wait to see you now. Come home now, come home now. I love you, Jude. Mwah. Sarang here. <laughs> Papa. <laughs> Say. <laughs> Popo. Itty bitty. Say Papa. Welcome to the world, little man. I can't believe that you're finally here. I've been waiting for this day for a very long time. And, you know, there's just so much of the world to show you. So much that hasn't been seen yet. And I can't believe that I'm going to be a part of sharing that with you. To go through life with you. And I hope you know that you are loved. You have a beautiful mother who will do anything for you. Who will support you and who will nurture you. And you have a father who will literally take a bullet for you. And I hope you know that you have a Tito that you can text anytime, you know, when you learn how to text, of, of course. Uh, I'll teach you how to text. That'll be great. Um, but I have to say thank you because you arriving in the world was the best news of my 2020. So thank you for that. And the best part is we have the rest of the 2020s and the 2030s and the 2040s. It's, it's going to be a blast, man. I can't wait to see you and I really can't wait to finally meet you. Um, I love you already. See you soon. We just want to say that we can't wait to see you and play with you. We can't wait to watch you grow up and play with Leandro. Yes, go ya Leandro. So we just hope to see you soon. I'm sure you're going to grow up to be a fine young man. Yes. I'm sure your mom and dad are going to be taking good care of you. See you soon. We love you. Welcome to the world, buddy. Uh, you know, last year was kind of crazy, but I think you're honestly the best thing to happen. Um, as you can see, our little daughter is about to arrive into the world any day now. In fact, by the time you watch this, she might already be here. So we're just so glad she's going to have you to play with um, and grow up with. Uh, we're so excited to meet you. You have some really special parents, my guy, so you're in good hands. Um, your Tito Chris and your Tito Alex love you and will be here for you if you ever need anything, ever, okay? Can't wait for you to play with our daughter. Love you, buddy. Love you.
I remember the first time that I found out about you, it wasn't actually your mom who told me. It was God. You were revealed to me to a dream. I dreamt that there was something growing inside your mama's tummy. Lo and behold, after two days, I'm on the phone with your mama. And then she told me, Ate, can you pray for me? And then I said, I think I already know what you need praying for. God already told me you're pregnant. And then she said, yeah. It wasn't like your mama wanted to hide you. It was more to protect you from the cruelty that surrounds us. The moment that we heard your heart beat, ah, we all almost cried. It was an emotional moment. We were all happy and excited. You had to, of course, hide your mama's identity um, just to protect you because you had to be revealed at a proper time and proper place. And it was only your mama and your papa's right to do so. You were their story to share. So I'm so happy that, you know, your parents can share you now to the world. Finally, we can see more of you through your parents' posts since you can see it in, in person. Uh, I just want you to know that Nina will always be here for you. I, I am one with your parents in protecting you and in loving you the best way we can. I'm claiming that you will grow up to be a man after God's own heart and that whatever field you choose to pursue, you will succeed in that field. And you're one lucky baby, just want to tell you that. So many people love you and so many people are excited to see you and meet you. Um, I remember the first time that your mom told me she was pregnant with you and I got so excited because I really love babies and the first time that I saw her with a big belly, I was just like, ah. and then when you were so waiting for you to kick, every time I touch your mom's tummy, you don't move. Like, I feel like you sensed that it was your Ninang Borba that was bothering you, but anyway, Welcome to the world and I want you to know that um, I'm always going to be here for you and that I love you, your parents love you and I love your parents too. I hope you turn out to be a sweet and thoughtful boy. Um, you may not know me yet, but I'm going to introduce myself as your favorite Nino, Kyle. <laughs> I'm going to claim it, but I promise you, dude, that I'm always going to be here for you. Dude, I have it to just know that your uncle Kyle loves you so much. Can't wait to meet you. Can't wait for you to grow older and I'll teach you how to ride your first bicycle and motorcycle. And we can play football together. Everything. I'm so excited to introduce you to the world, dude. Your parents, just know that your parents, they love you so much. Ever since, ever since they heard about you. They love you so, so much. Especially your dad. Your dad has, I've never seen him more excited for anything in this world. But Jude, just know that we are all, all gonna be here for you, always. Uncle Kyle will always have a house for you. You can always come to me for whatever you need when you're older or even now, okay? I love you, Jude. I can't wait to meet you and I can't wait for the world to I love you. I love you, baby Jude. I love you so much. Hindi pa kita nakikita sa personal, pero ganun pala yun. Mahal na kita ka agad. Kasi, grabe yung ginawa mo sa amin ng mommy mo. Isa kang malaking blessing. Akala ko, after ng teleserya namin ng mommy mo, hanggang dun na lang yung relationship namin. But no, Mas naging strong yung relationship namin ng mami mo. Ang daming naming bonding pa after yung teleserye namin. Tapos biglang, eto ka, dumating ka sa buhay namin. So, isa kang malaking blessing sa amin dalawa dahil mas tumibay yung relationship namin dahil sa'yo. Excited ako na umuwi ka para maiparamdam ko sa'yo kung gano'ng kita kamahal. 
Gusto ko lang sabihin, baby Jude, na kung gano'n ko pinoprotektahan at minamahal ang yung mommy na si May Emma ay ganun din. Triple, quadruple pa yung gagawin ko sa'yo. May Emma and Marcos, congratulations! Um, to my Emma, I'm so proud of you. Alam kong hindi madali ang lahat. Alam kong hindi mag yes sa lahat. But, eto ka. Nagawa mo na to. I'm so proud of you. Dahil in-embrace mo, tinanggap mo si Baby Jude agad-agad sa buhay mo. I love you so much and I'm excited to see you soon. Sana matapos na itong pandemic para magkakasama na tayo. I love you both! To my son, my firstborn, my darling boy, there isn't enough words to express how much love I have for you. The minute I saw you, I knew I would do anything in this world to protect you. And I can't wait to introduce you to the world and hold you in my arms, even until you think it's uncool and get mad at me as you walk off to your friends. And yes, I will be that dad. You are loved forever and always by your mother and I. And I welcome you, Jude Trevor Patterson, to the world. Thank <laughs> you.